going? Moon? A big moon. Big moon. Wow. Can you show me? Oh, you just erased it. <laughs> big moon. Little moon. Little moon. And Luna? Luna. Luna. That's beautiful, Daddy. Or is it the other way? <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> We are up and ready. I'm just uploading some videos right now, but Andre and I wanted to vlog today because it's a special time of our life and Elodie's life and Emirates' life. We're gonna start Elodie on salads. Uh, first step, we're gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna get ready. Elodie's still taking a nap, her first nap of the day. Emirates is just kind of hanging out and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Andre, yes. what is your preferred coffee of drink? Coffee of drink, coffee of choice. So there's this special place, not too far away from here. Ilana, you should never tell me the name of your place. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the name? What is the drink? What does it taste like? It's got caramel in it. It's got salted caramel in it. It's got special coffee. Yep. Espresso. Espresso. Milk. Ice. And love. Oof. That's the best one. <laughs> It's the best ingredient. <laughs> I have a couple of new products that I wanted to test out today. Some of them are newer and then some of them are not so new. Okay, I applied my skincare. Next step is I have my SPF. I've been playing with this one right here. Dermatology, is that what is that how you pronounce it? But it's the broad spectrum SPF 45 and this is their not tinted version. But I like this one because it's a hybrid between a chemical and a mineral sunscreen. It's very lightweight. You can see it doesn't have too much of a white cast blends in really nice and I can actually go around my eyes because it doesn't burn. Okay, the next one is a slip tint by Same. It's a broad spectrum SPF sunscreen tinted moisturizer. Ugh, this does not smell good. Wow, I look wet. Maybe if I'm just sitting by the pool at the beach, this is nice, but it's like there's no pigment. Let me get my L'Oreal. We were talking about this yesterday with the girls and Jackie started using it and she said she loves this product, but we just love the way it looks on the skin. And I would say it's a pretty versatile product. For eyebrows, I'm going with Refi. Work this into my brows, create this shape. All right, I still talked about no concealer by Huda Beauty. The faux filter concealer, this one got so many good reviews, but it's supposed to be crease proof. It's supposed to be blendable and buildable, bright and correct, water, sweat, transfer proof. It's supposed to be more cool toned, like rosy pink. I see more of a neutral, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna quickly add a little bit of bronzer, cream, and I'm just using my Huda Beauty Sculpt and Shade Brush. The Dibs is a like a dual product with cream contour and then a cream blush on the other side. Ooh, okay. It's blending in still really nice. I sat on there for like a good 40 seconds. That concealer looks really nice. Ooh, okay, it feels like it's it's not pretty, it's not that tacky. I'm really hoping it's not going to be like slipping and sliding all over the place. I'm gonna take my bronzer brush and just kind of work over those areas. For blush, I picked up a new shade from Say. Oh, these are one of my favorite um, liquid blushes. These are their Dew Blush. I picked up shade Chili. One of my favorite shades is Peachy. Let's see what it looks like. It's kind of like a like a strawberry berry shade. And this just gives such a beautiful finish to your cheeks. And I find them to last a really, really long time. And it blends out really well. I have two mascaras that I actually am really excited to play with. Well, one of them I already, um, I like, but the other one, it's also a tubing formula. It's by Merit, and this one has so many good reviews. It's a clean formula, and I'm gonna compare it to the Cali Ray Mascara. I already curled my lashes. I used my Kevin Aquan. I'm gonna start working a very, very light layers. I'm just gonna roll in the brush on my lashes. Oh my goodness. I really hope this is a nice, long-lasting mascara. Wow, my lashes are defined. There's zero clumping. They're pretty long. I'm really hoping the curl is going to stay. They look pretty lifted. It's a very wispy type of a formula, but still pretty black. I'm excited. So these right here are 
the wands. They're actually pretty similar to each other. This is a Calorie versus the Merit. But this mascara, I also really like it. I'll say this is actually more of a wet formula in comparison to Merit. But this one's pretty intense from the get-go. I would say this one I really like to apply in extremely thin layers. Calare is a little bit more intense, it's a little bit more black, versus the Merit, it's a little bit more natural and fluttery. Okay, let's go grab some of that coffee that we've been wanting to try. We fell asleep. We're on our way to get coffee. And I actually really like the way the makeup turned out. It's very glowy, but it feels really nice. Andre's gonna get the, con he's gonna drink the confetti Cuban. It has, um, what is that? Sparkles in there? <laughs> Not sparkles, sprinkles. <laughs> sprinkles. And you gotta ice it, obviously. Pretty good Cuban. What do you think? All right, next. She loves the doc dirty Dr. Pepper. Dirty Dr. Pepper. this one last one is the strawberry pie oh that one's pretty can you show me this one wow Hold it. look how pretty that is you want to try the milk it's just strawberry milk it's not nothing nothing out of this world i think you have to mix it let's mix it and see what it's oh the espresso yeah you gotta mix it because the milk is very sweet and the espresso is more very bitter. Try it now. How is the inside? Is it pretty? Yeah. It's nice and feminine, pretty. <laughs> very artsy. You're not impressed. I'm not impressed. Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't know. It's good coffee, but it's not, I don't know. Something's missing. There's a lot of competition. Yeah, the there's coffee. so much competition. But yeah, I mean, it was nice to try it because it's been on my list to try. I have so many different coffee shops, restaurants saved on my Google Maps. So this is one we can cross off the list. I'm going back to Americano Lounge right now. Yeah. I'm gonna get myself a better coffee. <laughs> Andre's favorite drink at Americano Lounge right now is their salted vanilla caramel, but he adds the, um, the crema to it. It's basically the really thick cream top and then you have the latte on the bottom. Since we're out and about, like in like northern Nashville, we actually wanted to stop by Guy Fieri's chicken restaurant. Look at the train. Remember, look at the train up ahead. Do you see it? Trucks, trains, clouds, sky, trees, <laughs> buildings. Three, four, six, six, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Looking for a police car? And maybe.
That's beautiful, Emirate. Is Grandma your favorite? Where is Grandma Shark? Yeah, I don't know. We we'll have to find Grandma Shark. Hi, baby girl. She's satisfied right now. Yeah. She, she's really nice. She just ate. Yeah, she's you so happy. You know who didn't eat? Us. <laughs> we tasted it. Uh, talking about the guy. No, wait. The chicken guy. The chicken guy. Guy Fieri's chicken place. It's an un unfortunate. Event. Uneventful. <laughs> un un yeah, that's probably what it is. Uneventful. Okay, so we're back home, and yes, as Andre said, it was uneventful. Unfortunately, it was not great, not good, and not average. I personally would give it a solid 2.5, and that's being nice. All of the ingredients, so many of them tasted stale and just not fresh and old, unfortunately. But the worst part, it's a chicken restaurant, right? It's a chicken place. The chicken was just so sad and rubbery and just... Next. Next. Just, if you want a good hot chicken place, go to Prince's, go to Hattie B's. They're the most iconic and you'll get a good experience. Their fries weren't bad. We ate the fries. I think they were a little too sweet with the seasoning, but they were pretty good. Pretty good fries. They're, they actually tasted fresh. Okay, since I'm doing laundry, I figured I would open some packages with you guys. I got some stuff for the kids and myself from Old Navy. They were having a massive sale, like over 50% off. She's in dire need of some like six month clothes. I don't know what it's been. Maybe it's a second baby, but I'm not really buying her as much stuff because a lot of the stuff she's using is Emirates or I'm just kind of purchasing as she's growing, if that makes sense. I bought her a little hat, but it looks destroyed. It will still do. If anything, maybe I can just <laughs> use like a steamer. But how cute is this with like a little bow? But yeah, the hat is destroyed. I don't even know how I'm gonna fix this. Maybe with a steamer, maybe that will work. Got her some cute little shoes, pool shoes. They're just like little outdoor shoes. Like, are you kidding me right now? And they're super lightweight. Oh, these are cute. I hope these will still fit her. Oh, I think this is for me actually. Got a little top. Looks cute. Little tie front has like a linen heel. Oh, this is precious. Uh, this is also older, 18 to 24 months. So I picked up some sizes that are still too big for her just because they were a major sale. This is Emirates. Also got him a 3T instead of a 2T so that he could layer and I can just roll the sleeves, kind of make him cuffed and then he will still be able to fit in this next year. I got her this little swimming suit for next year. It's 18 to 24, I believe. Yep, 18 to 24 months. And I figured, you know, since she'll, she'll be around 18 to 24 months around July 4th, it has these really cute red, white, and blue stars. I like that. It's full sleeves with a zipper. I think this is 18, oh no, this is six to nine months. So this is her age right now. This looks a little bit big. So this would be perfect for when it cools off a little bit. And it actually came with a little bow as well. I thought that was really cute. I think this is Emirates pajamas. Little jammies as we like to call them. Yep, I got, I got three T. So you can still grow into these, but also wear them right now. I'll just kind of roll the bottom or the sleeves. But this is cute, little fire trucks. He's into trucks right now. <laughs> they had a lot of cute stuff. This is so sweet, little khaki button down shirt for Emirate. It has a little bit of like a heavier weight. I figured this could be a great layering piece with shorts, um, like jeans, even like sweatpants and like dress an outfit down or dress it up, I mean. But yeah, this is nice. Feels really good too. This is, <gasps> I got a little two piece for her, a little swimming suit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the cutest little thing ever. Oh my goodness. And this is six to 12 months. So she can wear this right now. Ooh, it feels really soft too. That's nice. All right, let me finish opening. <laughs> We're trying out the shoes. I got the two different ones in two different sizes. She has such dainty little feet. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Cool beans. <laughs> Big? Good. And just to 
two different sandals? Yeah, two different ones. Look how cute these ones are. What's Emera doing? Are you testing out the water? Yeah. How is it? Yeah, you got the water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Water. Water. Do you want to show me how you jump? You want to show me how you jump? Whoa! Good job. He's got his little fishies in the water also. Where's your fishy? The fishy. There it is. The Good job. Down. Yeah. Okay, it is almost dinner time. I'm gonna start prepping dinner. I'm making one of my roast dinners. Super simple, super easy. It takes a little bit of time just because you're roasting chicken thighs bone in with the skin. So you really want to render down that fat and it kind of just roasts in its own juices. It's incredible. But the thing is you have to keep basting the chicken breast, the chicken thighs, sorry, chicken thighs. But super simple ingredients. You need some extra virgin olive oil and I find that it tastes better with extra virgin. I don't know what it is, but it tastes better. And then your favorite seasonings. Currently, I'm using Malden sea salt flakes, fresh cracked black pepper, or just different mixture of uh, cracked pepper. And then some of this Kinder's The Blend seasoning. It's basically salt, pepper, and garlic. And I was thinking to make it with just some rice, and then some, uh, we have fresh cucumbers from my mother-in-law and heirloom tomatoes. So I think we'll have Elodie try some cucumbers, and then maybe some avocado with like some hemp seeds so she can hold it. Like I said, we're gonna be doing like baby led weaning along with some purees and like softer foods or mashed foods. Let's do it. So I cleaned up the chicken a little bit. Uh, for example, I took a lot of the fat off, a lot of the skin. So clean it up. And then I like to put olive oil and then just pepper, salt. And you're gonna do both sides. So I take this sea salt flakes and just kind of crush it between my fingers. Take a little bit of the blend. Happy with the way it's looking. And now it's gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 60 minutes. But I'm gonna keep ro roasting and baking it. I'm gonna baste it while it roasts in those 60 minutes. So for Elodie, this right here is the cucumber that she's gonna have. And I actually tasted the skin and it's really nice, it's not bitter. So she's gonna have cucumber slices along with avocado roll and hemp seeds. So just some hemp seed so she can actually hold avocado in her hands. But today it's her first day. I wanna see if she can hold it in her hand. If not, then I will mash up the avocado and feed her like that. But I'm excited. Okay, okay here we are. Here you go, I'm gonna hold. Cucumber. Come on, grab it. Oh boy. <gasps> Oh, she... oh, you dropped it. Oh, you, it oh, you got it. Okay. Back in the mouth it goes. Emmert, what do you think? Is she doing a good job? Oh, she's like really going for it. Oh, is it too slippery? Come on, here we go. Want to try with this one? Oh, that, that one's funny. Oh, okay. Mm. She's eating some of the seeds. She doesn't know how she feels about it. Eat. Am I ready to eat? Yeah. The chicken is cooling down and the mama will put you some, okay? Good job. Oh man, she's, she's, she's liking it. it. She's like, um, um, um. Yeah. She's kind of has like still a, I don't know, face. Oh. There you go. She keeps it going. Yeah, it's still it's a little slippery. At least it has a little bit of pull to it. Yeah, something she she doesn't know how to hold firmly yet. I mean, she does, but <laughs> she just keeps letting it go. Like, yeah. there you go. And did you also pickle? Yeah, Elodie and Emmer pickle. Okay. You're doing a good job. It's a nice Emma. mild flavor. Yeah. Almost pretty much all water. Mm. Yeah. Do you like it? I think she's kind of liking it. Okay, mommy's gonna hold this for you. Okay, let's try it. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> Do you guys see her little tooth or teeth? Her bottom teeth? 
Yeah. Okay, so she's not spitting it out. She's trying it. Yeah. There you go. I think that was kind of a smile. <laughs> what do you think? She's putting it back in oh. her mouth, so she likes it. Mm-hmm. Good job, girlfriend. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slippery guy. Allergy, are we happy? Are we happy? Did we experience something new today? Yeah? Or do we want more food? We're, we're still going for more, huh? Somebody looks so happy. Yeah? We're so excited, huh? And dinner is served. I always cut the chicken for Emirate off the bone. And he just kind of picks and chooses what he wants. Some salad. Yummy. I personally like to make a bowl out of mine. I also cut up my chicken, take it off the bone, and keep everything else. I personally don't like to cut up my meat. I like to have my bone in there so I can chew, on, chew it off the bone. How is Ooh, it? It's hot. <laughs> oh, it's really good though. The mm. skin is nice and crispy because we rendered it out. Oh my goodness, that's but, yes. Labor town. What do you think, Emirate? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, now that we're done. Okay, dinner is done, we cleaned up. So, I know some of you are gonna be asking, but I'm using solid starts to help with the baby led weaning. And it shows you all the really uh, different foods, how to cut them, how to serve them, and what kind of nutritional uh, benefits they have. It's really, really cool. I, I like that app a lot. I started following her before they even released the app when Emirate was born. But yeah, we're excited. Are you mm -hmm. excited? She seemed super excited after she was done with it. We're gonna end the video here, right? Yeah, we're, we're gonna wind down after Yeah, here. we're winding down. We're gonna start our bedtime routine and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for joining us. Bye.